you ever wonder how America got built? Sure, it took grit, determination and a whole lot of elbow grease, but you can't forget the metals. We're talking iron and steel, the backbone of bridges, buildings and everything in between. Understanding the different types of iron and steel is like knowing your tools. Each one has its own personality, its strengths and weaknesses. Blacksmiths, those masters of metal, knew this better than anyone. They could tell just by looking at a piece of metal what it could become. For centuries, blacksmiths were essential. They were the ones who shoed horses, made tools and even crafted weapons. Their work literally held society together. So let's dive into the world of wrought iron, cast iron and mild steel. We'll explore their history, their differences and how they helped shape the world we live in today. First up we got wrought iron. Imagine a metal that's strong, flexible and can take a beating. That's wrought iron in a nutshell. It's like the workhorse of the iron family. Wrought iron gets its name from the way it's made. It's heated up and then hammered or wrought to remove impurities. This process leaves behind a strong, fibrous metal that's resistant to rust and fatigue. Blacksmiths loved this stuff. It was their go-to for everything from nails and horseshoes to gates and tools. Why? Because it was tough, but it could also be heated and shaped with relative ease. These days you don't see pure, wrought iron as much. It's more expensive to make than other types of steel. But walk into any antique store and you're bound to find tools and hardware made from this durable material. They don't make them like they used to. Now, let's talk about cast iron. This one's all about strength and durability. Imagine pouring molten iron into a mold that's casting. Cast iron is known for its hardness and compressive strength. It can handle a lot of weight. Think about old-fashioned cast iron skillets. They're heavy, but they heat evenly and last forever. But cast iron does have its drawbacks. It's brittle, meaning it can crack or break under stress, and it's not as good as wrought iron when it comes to resisting rust. Still, cast iron has played a vital role in history. Cannons, cookware, even decorative fences, cast iron has been there. Last but not least, we have mild steel. This is the versatile one, the jack of all trades in the world of metals. It's made by adding a small amount of carbon to iron, which makes it stronger and more workable than wrought iron. Mild steel is the most common type of steel used today. It's everywhere. Cars, appliances, construction materials, you name it, it probably involves mild steel. So why did mild steel become so popular? Well, for starters, it's cheaper to produce than wrought iron. And it's incredibly versatile. You can forge it, weld it, machine it. The possibilities are endless. The rise of mild steel in the late 19th century marked a turning point. It revolutionized manufacturing and construction, paving the way for the modern industrial world. Now let's talk about the folks who worked with these metals. The blacksmiths, these were the original metal workers, the ones who tamed iron and steel with fire and force. In colonial America, blacksmiths were essential members of the community. They were the ones who kept the plows sharp, the horses shod, and the tools in working order. Life as a colonial blacksmith was tough, but it was honest work, and it demanded skill and ingenuity. Fast forward to the Civil War, and blacksmiths were on the front lines, literally. They kept armies supplied with weapons, ammunition, and repaired equipment. The clang of their hammers was the soundtrack to the war effort. Out west, blacksmiths were a fixture in every frontier town. They kept wagons rolling, horseshoes nailed on, and provided tools for miners and ranchers. A good blacksmith was worth his weight in gold in those days. So, there you have it, a crash course on wrought iron, cast iron and mild steel. These metals have shaped our world, from the tools we use to the buildings we live in. The next time you see an old wrought iron fence, a cast iron skillet, or a modern steel structure, take a moment to appreciate the history and the craftsmanship behind them. These metals are a testament to human ingenuity and our ability to transform raw materials into something useful, beautiful and enduring. And let's not forget the blacksmiths, the unsung heroes who, for centuries, turned fire and iron into the building blocks of civilization. Their legacy lives on in every piece of metal that has been heated, hammered and shaped by skilled hands.
As we reflect on the enduring legacy of iron and steel, let's take a moment to honor the artisans and blacksmiths who continue to keep this ancient craft alive. At Old West Iron, we are dedicated to preserving this rich heritage by offering high quality handcrafted iron products. Whether you're looking for custom ironwork, historical reproductions or unique decorative pieces, we are here to bring your vision to life. Visit our website at oldwestiron.com or give us a call at 844-205-7266 to learn more about our offerings and how we can help you with your next project. Together, let's continue to celebrate the artistry and craftsmanship that have shaped our world for centuries. Thank you for watching and remember, every piece of iron tells a story. Let us help you tell yours.